I want to send a message to every survivor of sexual assault. Don't let anyone silence your voice. And then he forces me down on the bed. <laughs> and I just was very frightened. And I tried to get away from him and I told him no. This woman took a hold of my hand and squeezed it. She said, I just want you to know how much that Bill and I appreciate what you do for him. That's the first time I became afraid of that woman. been widely reported that as First Lady, Hillary led the effort to disparage her husband's woman accusers who were dismissed as bimbo eruptions. In November, she wrote on her Twitter page, she said, every survivor of sexual assault deserves to be heard, believed, and supported. That's interesting. I was never heard and supported and, and believed. She, she tried to basically derail me. I believed that what Mr. Clinton did to me was wrong. November of 1998, Here's what she said happened. When I turned around, he had dropped his pants, and he sat down and he exposed himself to me, and he asked me to perform oral sex on him. Is that how he said it? No, he said, would you kiss it? Clinton reportedly paid her $850,000 in an out-of-court settlement. I felt like, you know, no man is above the law. Why should he not pay for what he does as well? woman named Kathleen Willey about President Clinton and about her claims that he sexually groped her in the Oval Office. Well, earlier, I spoke with Miss Willey about all of this. Hillary Clinton is the war on women. And I think that she needs to be exposed for all of the terror campaigns that she has raged against the women who we're in the wrong place at the wrong time with her husband. And it's been going on since before they got married. When she was having a discussion with somebody about how they were gonna handle Jennifer Flowers, and she was trying to find a way to hang a crime on her, she wanted to send that woman to jail. And that's when I thought, you know, this isn't right. She's going to run on women's issues, like she says she is, and she's gonna accuse the Republicans of this war on women. I think she needs to be exposed for the war that she's raised against people like me. I mean, she has choreographed every single investigation and every terror campaign against every single woman, practically, who she thinks might be a problem. Eve of your testimony in the Paula Jones case, there was, you lost your cat, and there was somebody who came up to you, a stranger. He approached he me one morning. He alluded to the fact, he alluded to my cat by name and pants, past tense. He said, how is that? How is, the, um, he was a nice cat. He said, that bull, bullseye was a nice cat. And that was a direct threat you believe on the eve of your testimony to let you know the cat's gone. That was followed by, that was followed by, how are your children? And he named them by name. That was followed yeah. by, that was followed by the naming of, of, of very dear friends to children. That was followed by, did you ever get those tires fixed? I had three out of four tires of my car flattened by yeah. a nail gun. Hillary claims to be and wants us to think that she's a champion of women's rights, she's a women's advocate, she's a feminist. She has enabled his behavior for over 30 years. If, if somebody's willing to pay you $130,000 or $170,000 to uh, say something and you get your 15 minutes of fame and get your picture on the front page of every newspaper and you're some failed cabaret singer who uh, doesn't even have uh, much of a resume to fall back on and what's there she's lied about you know that's the daughter of willie horton as far as i'm concerned it's the same kind of uh, uh attempt to keep uh, uh keep the real issues of this country out of the mainstream debate where they need to be tough words personally yeah. feel that if i had not become public when i did even though i had not planned it that i wouldn't be sitting here talking with you now i think something would have happened to me i think most of the women yeah. that have been involved with bill clinton have told of situations where they were threatened
Hillary Rodham was a 27-year-old trier lawyer in Arkansas with a southern drawl and big ambitions. She was asked by a judge to defend a 42-year-old man accused of raping a 12-year-old girl. That clip, Mrs. Clinton seems to admit she knew the defendant was guilty. It took a lot of different tests. I had her tolerance. And she passed. She forever destroyed my face and tolerance. And I called her now, Clinton was able to plea bargain down the sentence to just one year in prison, which was then reduced to time served. But the victim, who is now 52 years old, is speaking out to the Daily Beast and saying that one of the most famous women in the world put her through hell. She also has a message now for the former Secretary of State. You lied on me. I just realized the truth of it hard back in 06. After I got out of prison, I just studied a little bit. I realized the truth now of heart of what you done to me. I said to the other man, you're supposed to be it for women. You call that for women? <laughs> what you done to me? And I hear you on tape laughing. You talk about leveling with the American people. Have you always told the truth? I've always tried to. Always. Always. Hillary, you're fired. <laughs>